it's monday december 14th i've been dealing with tax stuff accounting stuff <laughs> i got this huge list of questions from my accountant well he sent it by email and then tried calling me right away but i missed his call so i called him back but i didn't get an answer and so so I just typed up the email responses, which took me over an hour because I had to look stuff up to answer his questions. Plus there's some information and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get that for him at a later date because I don't have time to do it today. Some of it was pretty involved and we were gonna potentially move my year end for the business. And I'm like, well, then I'm gonna have to get a whole bunch more information. Like I'm gonna have to log into every little thing to add on one more month. And we ended up not doing that. So. Eventually we got a hold of each other on the phone too to clarify some stuff, but it's just been, it's been annoying. <laughs> Things were much simpler before I was incorporated, but I'm going to be paying so much less tax. Like it's insane. So it's worth the pain. It's worth the added pain. <laughs> this has all slowed me down a little bit. It's 2.20 already. I also had a billion emails to respond to for my store. I should put out a little PSA that packages are being delayed pretty much everywhere it's really bad in the u.s right now i know for sure because most of my orders are to the u.s so <laughs> there are mega delays yes there are people who have received theirs already but i have about 200 u.s orders that have not been delivered yet so if yours is one of them it doesn't mean your order's lost i am not going to be sending out replacement orders anytime soon there are huge mega delays where tracking will just stop for like a week, a week and a half at a time, and then suddenly the package gets moving and it's delivered, and it's just so confusing, yet frustrating for all parties involved. So I just ask that you guys please be patient. I've been spending about an hour a day looking at people's orders, scoping out the tracking and responding, and yeah, I just ask that you guys please be patient because there's huge mega delays. I'm even seeing a lot of posts about it all over Twitter. I'm hearing about it from other business owners who make YouTube videos. And I think part of the reason for the delay is like, it's shipping UPS, but then they hand it off to USPS. And that's where everything just stalls. And I'm like, oh, well, I didn't realize they're going to be handing it off to USPS. Like I thought UPS was doing the final mile delivery. I was going to wrap up a couple prize packs, giveaway prize packs. Well, it's going to do the first three, but winner number three hasn't responded to me. Actually, they might have. Oh my god, there's more store emails. <laughs> anyway, go to the other email account. <laughs> Wait, what was I doing? Okay, no, they haven't responded. So I have two I could package, but I'm also kind of freaking out because i got to get to chit-chats before they close. And I don't really want to rush the packaging, so I'm kind of tempted to just run the packages I have now. But then for the prize packs, just hold on to them a little longer. Send them out Wednesday. That way I'm not just slapping their packages together. I can take my time. <laughs> so I'm gonna head downstairs and slap some labels on two more Avent boxes. Add that to my current pile and run it to Chit Chats. Before we head out, let's do this. I scratch my mom when she stops petting me. Oscar. Well, that's just rude. No scratching. She not mean like Oscar. Oi! Ten seconds before I started filming, she jumped up on the Copic case and swatted at my little string of lights here. Like what? Just one big whack. You trying to get my attention? Because you're succeeding. No, Kiki. It makes you vomit, please stop. I had Twitter open for two seconds just to check my mentions and I saw Canada Post was trending. They've pushed back their delivery estimates because of the unprecedented demand for packages. And it makes sense because, I mean, there's always a Christmas rush, but because of COVID, people are spending Christmas apart. And so people are mailing their packages when they normally wouldn't. So. That's why these companies are seeing such a huge delay. And it made me think, when my advent boxes were delivered, the truck that came to deliver them was an enterprise truck, like enterprise rent-a-car. It's a rental truck. So these delivery companies are even renting trucks just to get enough packages on the road. Like that's insane. They're working really hard. They're putting in overtime, putting in long hours, working hard to get everyone their packages, so. 
all we can really do is wait. I'm back from chit chats. I was going to include a couple dash cam clips but I came in the house without grabbing them and I just don't feel like going back. So the two things that were on the list for the rest of the day were packaging the th packages, which I ended up not doing, and the diamond painting. So I could still do the packaging, but not the diamond painting, or I can do the diamond painting. And I think I'm gonna do the diamond painting. <laughs> How many times can I say it in one sentence? <laughs> I just need to chill. I just need. I'm just like worked up for like stupid reasons. I just need to calm down. I'm gonna grab some food. It's in the fridge because it was delivered way earlier. Christian ended up having to unexpectedly work to like start work two hours early today. So, well, when stuff like that happens, he gets to bank the hours, but also his boss got lunch for everyone. And he said he could get enough for two people, so. Christian got food, and I got food. I just didn't eat mine yet because I wasn't hungry at the time, but I am now. It's a donair or donair. People <laughs> made fun of the way I said donair, but I've literally never heard it pronounced any other way, so I'm just like, oops. One of these. Oh yeah. I think I just needed some food therapy. <laughs> and no, I did not go to Timmy's. That's my reusable cup. <laughs> now it's time to move on to something semi-interesting for a change. <laughs> I forgot these stickers were here. I have to put the rest of those in my sticker book. Come hither, giant diamond painting. Whoa! There's another one stuck to it. <laughs> Don't know if I'll ever get to that one again. <laughs> And, well, it's at least partially right, right? Wait. Yeah, okay, there's stuff kind of in both. These are all the drills for the one I'm working on, but there are containers in here that I'm slowly switching to. I'm dumping colors out of these into little plastic baggies and then using the containers for my latest diamond painting because a bunch of these are from the the at peace one. This one here, which I've already completed and it's hanging downstairs in the warehouse. And I lost the paper for the one I'm currently working on. But that's okay because the legend is on the canvas. Look how large. Here's how far I've gotten. That's a lot of work, but there's a lot left to do. So you're going to be seeing a lot of this over the coming days. I think I'm going to work some more on the top section. So I'm going to peel away my washi tape, which is just to denote where the edge is, where I peeled it away because there's this clear plastic. It's hard to know where the plastic ends. So let's lay this down. Oh, it got stuck to the sticky of the mat, which I was... Expecting. Okay. I'm so excited to get back to this. I knew this would be a slower project. Like, I blitzed the first one, so I knew I'd take my time with this one, but I didn't realize how much time I'd take. <laughs> Snip, snip, snip. Now, my vertical line will end this horizontal line. <laughs> They're not perfectly straight. Maybe laying the tape down first would have helped me. This is gonna have to be taped directly on the sticky part again then because it just will have to be. I have to find the row where the plastic cuts inward the most and go from there.
So it looks like this section has a lot of percent, and then minus and down arrow are the second most common, which makes sense because that's what most of the background is, is those three colors. And then there are other ones here and there, especially where this little swoosh pattern is. And we'll see a little bit of the top of the star on her head. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's get cracking. So we've got Mr. Percent here, Mr. 602. Okay, maybe I put too many in there. <laughs> we'll just shake the excess to the side. And let's begin. Let's pick a random spot. I might start a little bit closer to the left just because I don't want to set my hand in stickiness constantly. Hey, what the heck? <laughs> oh, get back in there. Probably could have moved the camera closer if I was going to start this far away. I'm also using my vlog camera here instead of my usual art setup, just because I thought I would try it out. Although I will need to set up the other camera for tomorrow, the side camera, because I'm going to be doing this in my live stream tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Pacific time. My, I might even go a little bit extra if I'm trying to finish up a section, but we'll see. And then after that, I'm going to switch to Fall Guys, because I'm addicted, and because Season 3 comes out tomorrow. <laughs> like seriously, I stopped playing it for a while, and now I'm just obsessed all over again. <laughs> and they just announced a new incentive. Depending how many wins you have, you can unlock golden outfits and other perks. So new stuff to unlock based on how many total wins you have. And I'm like, oh, now I'm fired up. Now I'm now I have a reason to never stop playing ever. Like, goodbye world. I'm going to be playing Fall Guys all day. Every day. <laughs> boop, boop, be doop. People suggested I use this tool for use, putting on the gemstones on my sculpture. <laughs> I do not know why I didn't think of that. I even went into my diamond painting supplies to get the tweezers. And somehow it didn't cross my mind to use this, this tool right here, to apply the gemstones. Like what? What was going on in my brain? I don't even know. Not much, I guess. But now I know. For the future. I'll remember that. I don't really care if my lines are super straight, although I do try to straighten them out to a certain extent. But I just, I don't know, I'm not one of those people who needs perfectly straight diamond painting lines. It's especially forgiving with the circular ones. I feel like with the square ones it's a bit less forgiving, but... Still love me my squares. I might like them more than the rounds. I think I do. Okay, I'm gonna set up the other camera and kick it into time lapse. And in the meantime, I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos.
Okay, I have a few more to do here and then one single one up top. So I don't really feel like pouring these into containers right now. I can do that tomorrow. <laughs> I just need to steal a few from this baggie. By a few, I mean five, actually. All right, we've reached our quota. Thank you everyone for applying. All the positions have been filled. Good luck next time. And then same for this one, but he has to go way up here. We have one little lonesome dude. Chosen one! I'm coming. Wait, why does this show as brown? <gasps> I just did these colors backwards. <laughs> Cause see how the background of the square is kind of brown? That means it's a, it's a brown color. I just put the browns where the pinks are supposed to go. Oh no. Great, I ruined the whole system. Okay, you go there. And let's make our way back down here. Sorry sir, there's been a clerical error. We previously offered you the position. Uh, we have to rescind that offer. I'm sorry, but pack your desk. Pack your bags, get your lunch out of the fridge. You just can't be here anymore, I'm sorry. They're hard to grab when they're surrounded by a bunch of different ones. Yes! Probably using a little blade would be easier. Actually at this point, probably, yep, yeah, just use my fingernail. Okay. Okay, and I know down here is not very satisfying. The tape is actually crooked, so it starts to reveal a new line. So these are some awkward ones that actually have plastic over them, so it's not a nice smooth transition here. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of rolling just to push these on a bit harder. So yeah, previously I never had a rolling pin, now I do. I mean, I want to get one that has handles eventually, like for food, but... Okay, whoa! Might be better off to just go like this, not even roll it. <laughs> just make sure they're all stuck down all the way. I'll do that again once it's finished, but I just want to push them down for now. Look at this sparkle and the glisten. Kind of works better if you actually put your hand underneath the canvas and move it around instead of leaving it flat, but sparkle, sparkle. And like I said, I'll be streaming this the same day the vlog goes up if you'd like to tune in for more diamond painting action. I'm glad I did end up working on this today because now everything's out and set up for tomorrow, including like the camera and my laptop's here ready so I can have chat open, all that good stuff. So I'm glad I did that. I think for the other one, I was doing about eight to 12 hours of diamond painting a day for seven or eight, or was it nine days it took me? No, I didn't even remember how many days it took me. I'd have to look back on my diamond painting video, but it was like a week straight of only doing this so I doubt I can get this done this week actually it's pretty much guaranteed it's not gonna happen but <laughs> I'll try to get a good chunk of it done at some point I'll probably stop though to switch to a different project for a bit like maybe even just a marker illustration or something just anything different and then I can come back to it it's one of those ones where I'm kind of I'm taking it slow but I do want to pick up the pace a little bit now that the advent stuff is done and now for the giveaway prize pack for day five of the 12 days of Bailey J giveaways. So we have this Fabriano book here and it has gridded paper. This is the one from the Jazza boxes. And also from those boxes is a set of Elegant Writer calligraphy pens. I am just not that into calligraphy. I don't use pens with flat ends like this. So 
Hopefully whoever gets it will be more excited about them than me. I did test them out, which is why the packaging is open. <laughs> we have a lot of pens here. So a bunch of these are Tombow pens. I believe there's two black ones here. N15. They're dual-ended. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. <laughs> so you have the nice brush tip on one end. And then the other end has a little bullet style nib. So there are these four colors and two black ones. And then there's also this pen here, Tombow Furunosuke brush pen. Looks like that. And then we have this pencil, which is a Tombow Homograph Mono 100 in 3H. Some of these were actually from the Artful subscription box. They sent me a box one time, and so that's what like about half of this stuff is from. <laughs> Decluttering my excessive stash of art supplies. <laughs> and then there's store stuff. So we have a Mr. Bun Bun print, Sunflower, Bakery, Beautiful Nightmare, and Noise. And those are all signed. And then the enamel pins. There's the Ginger Bun, Cutie Pine, Mail Cat. And then the two sticker sheets, the video game sticker sheet, and food sticker sheet and the two washi tapes mail cat and video game washi so if you're interested in winning this prize pack the rules are the same you have to enter using the google form down below and also leave a comment on this vlog and you'll have one day to enter and i'll announce the winner in the next vlog and the winner of yesterday's prize will be announced at the end of this vlog i feel like i hardly did anything today but it's already quarter after 10, like there's not much time for much else. I'm just gonna go downstairs, join Christian, chill for a bit. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. <laughs> okay, time for the giveaway winner. We had 3,591 entries. Christian's listening to music, go fast, go fast. It's right between songs right now. Three, five, nine, one. Generate, two, seven, eight, four. Oh god, here it comes. No. The winner is Kathleen Potiet. Potiet? Potiet? Now I just gotta double check there's no duplicate entries. It's cleared. Congratulations, Kathleen! I'll be emailing you right away. I read that you recently had to tell a YouTube artist that their channel wasn't what it used to be or something like that. Yeah. And they're kind of confused. They didn't really realize they were dead. And <laughs> so I had to tell them. Gotcha, gotcha. Very blunt. Okay, well that's nice of you. Um, <laughs> So I also wanted to get into talking a little bit about, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I had a bunch of